Hello and welcome to News Click. I am Paranjoy Goha Thakurta and today we are going to discuss the new disclosures that have come in the Rafale fighter aircraft scandal. These disclosures came in the form of a report that was published in The Wire based on documents obtained from India and from France which shows that the French aviation company Dassault Aviation had invested roughly 40 million euros in a company which is part of the Anil <coughs> Ambani group and this resulted in this company in the Anil Ambani group called Reliance Airport Developers Limited obtaining a profit of 284 crore rupees. Predictably, this disclosure has raised a huge political storm. The opposition has been shouting that these disclosures show that fingers are pointing directly at Prime Minister Narendra Modi. To discuss the implications of this article, which was jointly written by Rohini Singh and Ravi Nair, let me welcome Ravi to the studio. Thank you, Paranjoy. For the benefit of our viewers, Ravi, you have you are an independent writer, and almost a year ago, on the fourteenth of November two thousand and seventeen, you wrote about the Rafale deal in Janata Sa Reporter. Right. And earlier, you worked in the corporate sector. Right. Can you summarize what is the new information that you have disclosed in this article that you've written together with Rohini Singh? And why is it significant, these new disclosures? Till now, though everyone knew there was something fishy about this deal, nothing was there, uh, no money trail. I mean, I should not say it's a money trail, but any kind of monetary transaction, what happened, which was not there in public domain. So this is the ever first time that is coming out. There are two things to it. The first one is, Daso has a joint venture with Reliance. So the money didn't come to that JV or the company which is part of that JV. What is the name of that joint venture? It's called uh, Daso Reliance Aerospace Limited, DRAL. John. DRAL. Right. The money didn't come there. This this company where the money has come is a different company. It's a different company. Called Reliance Airport Developers Limited. Yes. The story behind that company is Maharashtra government allocated a local uh, uh, five, five local airports to this particular company in 2009. Uh, it, it was an ac actually they won an auction. That time itself, it, there was a lot of noise uh, came out because the, the bid, the Reliance won the bid for 63 crore rupees and the total land area of these airports around 603 hectares. Then uh, the, the government said there were eight bidders and they were the highest. So it gone to them. Fine. For the next six years, nothing happened in this company. In 2015, the current Maharashtra government, BJP government, uh, the Vindra Fatnavis government, they said they want to take these airports back. Because no action has been done. In other words, they were not happy with the progress that had been made by this Anil Ambani group company. Am I correct? Can, can one draw such a conclusion? In a way, it should be. Otherwise, why should government say that they have to take it back? All right. Please continue. And so, somehow it didn't, we, they don't know what happened after that. After a few months, in 2015, the same agency allocated further land to another group company of Anil Ambani, that was Reliance Aero Structure Limited. Which is a partner, uh, which is a partner with Daso and that uh, JV. Ravi, let me interrupt you. In your article, you have written that RADL, Reliance Airport Developers Limited, had posted losses yes. of 10.35 lakhs in the financial year that ended in March 2017 on revenues of 6 lakh rupees. Yes. And in the previous year, it had no revenues and had losses of about 9 lakh. Yes. 
Yet, this particular company, RADL, it has gained a lot because it Reliance Infrastructure, which is another Anil Ambani company, which sold its shares in this company, which is its subsidiary, ended up selling its shares at a premium. How, how did they arrive? How did Dassault arrive at a premium for these shares? It's an I unlisted company. I look at what is company. the premium. I look at what's the premium. That's the important thing. <coughs> exactly that's where the doubt is. Why should a company like uh, Dassault invest in such a company which was not operational, which was where the government itself asked to, you know, uh, give it back, the, the assets what government has given for a 70 year lease. They want to take it back in six years because it was not operational, they did no development at all. And this all decided to invest in that particular company. You so are that saying that Dassault Avi Aviation's annual report for 2017 mentions that it acquired non-listed securities including a 34.7% equity participation in RADL, Reliance Airport Developers Limited. And uh, the question everybody is asking, why should Dassault spend this kind of money? Dassault. Almost almost 40 million euros. Dassault should answer that. So Dassault, far they have not answered. Dassault must answer that. I see, it's, it's almost nearly uh, 24 hours now since the article is out. Um, it's 22 hours. Till now, neither Reliance nor the so responded. The we uh, we sent mails to them, mail to them. We asked for the response before coming it out. We didn't get any response. Okay, Ravi, in a recent interview to the Economic Times, the chief executive officer of Deso, Mr. Eric Trapier. He has gone on record saying 70 crore rupees has been invested in Deso Reliance Aerospace Limited, the earlier joint venture. Right. And 49% is the stake of Deso in that earlier joint venture, R D R A L. Right. Now, that means this is over and above the money exactly. they've al al already put in. He and, didn't and, say and anything. See, first of all, he just said one part of it. When he said 70 crore, he said it 7 0, 70. That's how he, he said it in the interview. In that 70 CR, that's a total capital as of now. And Reliance contribution is only land. So, in a sense, are you suggesting that Dassault has paid for everything, not just the land, but all the facilities? So exactly. Is that the implication exactly. of what you've written? Now, if you look at the sequence of events, the timeline of events, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the Rafale deal on the 10th of April 2015. Right. In July in that same year, Reliance Aerostructure applies to the Maharashtra Airport Development Council for land at the Special Economic Zone in Mihan, correct? This is in Nagpur, Nagpur. in Maharashtra. And it gets 289 acres in August that year for 63 crore rupees. No, government. Then it says it will take less land. No, huh. the government allotted 289 acres. Okay. Government allotted 289 acres, but the company didn't take 289 acres. They have taken only 104 acres. And it missed several payment deadlines. Yes, many. Now Reliance Aerostructure was incorporated on the 24th of April 2015, a few days before the oh sorry a few days after after two weeks after two weeks after prime yes, minister announced modi deal. announced the deal now everybody is asking a question why 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 did Dassault do all this i mean was there some sort of compulsion on the part of this french company which had earlier, the same Mr. Trepier had said that 95% of its deal earlier with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited had been completed in the presence of the head of the Indian Air Force and the head of Hindustan Aeronautics and suddenly this deal is no, gone. No, it was actually in the presence of uh, Indian Ambassador to France, Okay. then uh, senior officials. I don't think um, the IAF okay. chief was there, but uh, okay. senior All officials right. were there. I stand corrected. Yeah. So there were senior officials of the government of India and the Indian Air Force. 
एच एल एंड आई एफ एंड हिंदुस्तान एरो इन देर प्रेजेंस ही सेट नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द डील इज डन राइट एंड जस्ट लेस दैन थ्री वीक्स लेटर दिस डील इज कॉल्ड ऑफ सी दैट सीक्वेंस इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ओके ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर डे दर इज वन कंपनी अडानी ग्रुप अडानी ग्रुप एंडर्ड इन टू डिफेंस बिजनेस बाय इनकॉर्पोरेटिंग अर कंपनी अडानी डिफेंस टेक्नोलॉजीज लिमिटेड थ्री डेज लेटर रिलायंस डिफेंस लिमिटेड वॉज लॉन्च इट्स इनकॉर्पोरेटेड दैन द रिलेबल सोर्सेस इनफॉर्म एंड इट वॉज वेल पब्लिश बाय रिनाउंड डिफेंस एनालिस्ट अजय शुक्ला he published it long back that uh, that information is correct we uh, we verified it ourselves that information is were correct because the then defense minister who was on the way to airport he was uh, mr manohar parika he had to go to goa his home state he was on the way to airport he had been called to pmo and then the pmo he had been uh, he has been informed that the deal that the then Ongoing deal, MMRCA deal for 126 aircrafts. MMRCA stands for medium, medium multi-role, multi-role combat, combat aircrafts. Aircraft. Yeah. So almost everyone knows that. I mean, th- those terms are used so okay. much. <laughs> so, <coughs> so every layman know that now. So uh, he has been informed that the, the the then ongoing negotiation for that 126 aircrafts. will not be going further the the rfp the request for proposal or and the bid for that vote these uh, company submitted will be called off okay ravi at the end of the article that appears in the wire which bears rohini singh and your byline it says that the initial version of the article the euro figure corresponding to oh many RADS people asked it's it's actually a typo it was a mistake it was mistakenly stated as 4 million, 4 million. Yeah, it, it was actually a typo it was actually a typo at the desk it was actually a typo at the desk what happened was see uh we got the documents in our hand uh by around we were working it working on it uh, because you know that there are many aspects to this so we were working on it we got the the final uh, you know document which we had the information but still we wanted wanted to have the documents and we w- wanted to verify it all right so when we did it we hurried so you're saying it's a typographical it's just a typographical okay i come back to the question i started with how significant is the information that you have disclosed it's big it's big that's really big we see we uh, uh, congress president rahul gandhi has said uh, everybody the fingers are pointing at prime minister uh, narendra modi uh what do you have to say to what S- that's a political uh, question for which i will not answer okay okay i i don't want to comment on the political stuff of it but the significance of if you ask me the significance of this particular uh transaction is the same thing which you asked me that is why did the so picked up 34.7% stake in this company in this comp Almost at a dirt company. At it's at it's at a dirt company. It's a huge premium. Yes, and the premium is more than hundred percent, hundred times. Hundred times. It's sorry. It's hundred times. Yeah. So thousand percent. Yes. So why? That is the big mystery. Exactly. Why? And after that, it, the transaction happened sometime last year. And if you look at the the annual report of Reliance. Okay. Reliance Infrastructure. Yeah, Reliance. That's a parent company. That's a parent company. So it's all subsidiaries. It puts a note at the, at the lower point in a very minuscule paragraph, a uh, few lines. You mentioned that, and so it's, it's buried in note number forty-three under the exceptional items head: profit exactly. on sale of investment in Reliance Airport Developers Limited, two hundred and eighty-four point one nine crore rupees. Yes. Okay, Ravi. Thank you very much for coming here. But before I conclude. I understand you're writing a book on the subject. I am doing that, Panjay. Very good. We are looking forward to your book. Uh, when can we expect your book to be published? I wanted to do it um, as soon as possible, but uh, no, a lot of informations are coming up new. So new disclosures. I want to. Uh, yeah, we are uh, expecting something. Uh, a new disclosure again like this is going to happen in few days okay. next few days so we have to wait and watch what are the new disclosures exactly. that are going to come e- up exactly and, and whether 
uh, Rafael will become as big as Bofors or bigger than Bofors, time alone can tell because Rahul Gandhi's own uh, father's uh, right. image was tarnished because right. of the Bofors right. deal. Here, uh, in, in this deal, I would like to add one thing. Okay. Um, when Rahul, I, I said I will not answer the political question, but still, I would like to uh, say this. In all the other deals, if you look at it, uh, whether it's um, Augusta West uh, West Line, Augusta all West yeah. so all all these all these uh, big uh, defense these contracts de contracts, there were a lot of brokers or the agents involved, intermediaries. Intermediaries, okay. But in this case, nobody's there. That's an interesting point. So it was right. a deal that involved Dassault, the government of France, Mr. Narendra Modi, and Mr. Anil Ambani, more or less. Yes, that's the interesting part of the story. We'll wait to learn more about what has happened from you and your colleagues. Thank you very much Thank for you coming so much. here and Thank giving you us so your much. time. You and I have, uh, I have, uh, uh, before uh, we conclude, I broke another story with the news click. I if know. you remember I'm that. I'm aware of that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get an opportunity <laughs> when sure. you read your book to know more about all these details all right. about what appears to be a very, very questionable deal involving the purchase of fighter aircraft for the Indian Air Force. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you. And you Thank just you heard yeah. Ravi Nair, who co-authored the latest report on the Rafael scandal, which points to very, very unusual financial transactions between the French aviation company Dassault and what appears to be almost like a dummy or a shell company in the Anil Ambani group. Thank you for being with us and keep watching News Click.